The U.S. National Transportation Safety Board just released its preliminary report on the Boeing Mac and Boeing 737 MAX 9 Alaska blowout. Phil LeBeau is standing by with the details. Phil, what have we learned now? Courtney, the preliminary conclusion, according to the National Transportation Safety Board, is that the door plug in question that was ripped off the Alaska Airlines flight in mid-flight, they didn't have bolts holding that door in place. The, uh, I'll read the one conclusive sentence from the NTSB. It says, four bolts that prevent upward movement of the door plug were missing before the plug moved. They weren't there. Why? Well, it turns out back in September of 2023, there were five damaged rivets on the door frame of the door plug. So Boeing went about removing the door plug in order to fix those rivets. And they were not replaced, apparently, because they were not there when they were ripped off the Alaska Airlines flight. We are waiting for a statement from Boeing. Not a lot of movement in shares of Boeing, in, in, mainly because this came out about a week ago. It was leaked out that there were likely going to be a, uh, there was likely to be a conclusion that bolts were not in the door. And that's what we have from the NTSB, a preliminary conclusion that the Alaska Airlines door plug, which was ripped off in mid-flight, was missing four bolts. That was the primary reason why it was ripped off mid-flight. Guys, back to you. Phil, amazing. Um, Alaska, just as a frequent flyer like yourself, yeah. in some weird way, I take that and I was on a Max 9 Sunday night. I take that as good news in a weird way because I feel like it, it sounds like this might have just been a one-plane issue. This yes. one plane needed maintenance. They screwed yep. up. Let's be clear. It sounds like somebody made no, a No, no, no. Wasn't that the plane needed maintenance? This is Boeing working on it in Boeing September of 23 before they delivered it in November. So it may be a one-off, but the disturbing part of this, Brian, is if you are – Alaska or United or any other customer, you do not expect that a plane is delivered to you no, of missing not. bolts on the door plug. Of course so, not. So, yeah, I mean, but you you'd, look mentioned, at this you'd from, mentioned the rivets were bad. So it, that, in my head, what that got me thinking is they were this damaged. plane. Th yeah. So this one single plane had an issue that needed to be fixed. It was fixed incorrectly. Let's be very clear by Boeing. But in some weird way, I felt like that because that rivet issue, unless that is a pervasive problem on others, and maybe it is. It felt yeah, like this might have been a one-off thing. I you hope. know, there, there are tens of thousands of rivets on these aircraft. Um, and part of the job as they are moving through the line is to make sure that they all are in conformance. And in this case, they saw some that were damaged, needed to be fixed, so they took off the door plug in order to have access to the door frame to fix those rivets. And according to the NTSB re report, when they put the door plug back in place, there are four bolts that hold it to keep it from moving up and out. They weren't put back in because they weren't there when the accident took place, when, when the incident took place midair and the uh, pressurization forced the uh, door plug just to be ripped off of the plane. Wow. It's fascinating stuff. A little mm. scary, but I'm glad that we know more. Hopefully the same mistakes won't be repeated and we won't have new ones either. Thank you very much, Phil. You bet.